Have you ever tried 3D printing your own basketball? Well, I have, and I can tell you right now, one of two things typically happens. One, it either bounces, but doesn't really bounce quite like a basketball, or two, when you try to go and bounce it, it explodes into a million pieces. And hopefully all of that changes today with these two new filaments that I'm gonna be testing out that should allow these balls to bounce really well, as well as, fingers crossed, not explode. Now, previously, the biggest issue that I had with these is that they just don't want to bounce very well. These are more flexible in nature when it comes to 3D printing filaments. So it's more of a TPU than like a PLA or a PETG. So it's not as hard and firm. And you'd think that these would bounce really well, but they just don't. They don't spring back into action properly. And then we have these harder materials that you can print with that, again, don't have nearly any flex to them whatsoever because they're just a hard plastic, but they're supposed to be really durable. Now, these do bounce really well. However, I can hear this starting to crack as we're bouncing it, and I know this is only gonna get maybe a half dozen or so more bounces before it eventually breaks and just is destroyed. And if you saw my little teaser video that I made for this video, you can already see that I've been testing one of these, and this is the BQ PLA HR filament. That's right, it's a PLA, but it has a good bit of elasticity to it. And that HR, I'm still not 100% sure what that stands for. Is it high rebound, I think, because it's gonna bounce back, or is it high resistance? I'm not 100% sure, but it works really well. And it looks really good 3D printed as well. This is probably one of the cleaner basketballs that I have seen or printed so far. And BQ has actually provided not only a print file for this, but also the profile and the print information that you need to print this with so that it's gonna print properly. And I think why this potentially works so well is because it actually is printing with a 0.6 nozzle and not the standard 0.4 nozzle that I was printing all of my previous basketballs with. You also print this with 100% infill and it does have that same internal lattice structure that we've seen from some of the other ball designs that are out there. And when it comes to actually bouncing it, this is one of the best balls that I've seen so far, I'm not even applying that much pressure to this and it's bouncing really well. And I can really go all out with this and not be worried about this breaking or anything crazy like this. I even took it to the Rochester Maker Fair this weekend and the kids were absolutely loving this and shocked that it was bouncing so well with this 3D printed material. And just as a comparison, here is the BQ PLA HR versus one of the TPUs that I tested previously. And here's and you'll see <laughs> that the HR bounces significantly better than your standard TPU. There's a lot more bounce with this. Like I can't, same amount of pressure going down, this one really does not wanna spring back. Now this one basketball does take up over half of the roll of filament. So I wasn't entirely sure how much I'd have left over to print with. So I tried printing a smaller basketball, a soccer ball, and a whole bunch of ping pong balls to really use up the remaining amount of filament that was left on the roll. But something really interesting about printing the smaller basketball and the smaller soccer ball is that the basketball still has that internal lattice structure and the soccer ball doesn't. And it is a lot squishier compared to the basketball. The basketball is a good bit more rigid than this ball here, and it shows when you try to bounce both of them. So here's the miniature basketball, and here's the miniature soccer ball. And again, the basketball bounces slightly better than what we're seeing with that soccer ball with the single wall here of prints. What I'm trying to point out is that specifically, if you're trying to 3D print a basketball, make sure it has that internal structure inside of it for it to bounce really well. Side note, the ping pong balls and the miniature basketball are so much fun to play with inside the house or in your office or anything like that, because I can throw the basketball off of the wall. It's sort of like a Nerf basketball that I can play with here. And these small ping pong balls actually bounce really well because they are so solid, but aren't gonna break at all. All right, here's the downside to this actual 3D printable filament here from BQ. It's $60 a roll over on Amazon or over on their website. It might be sold out right now because it is so wildly popular. <laughs> so many people are picking this up and trying to buy it. I'll have links to it down below as well as I think AliExpress, I believe sells it and even at a discounted price there in different colors. You might be able to find it in blue or black or white as well. Orange is gonna be hard to come by, but make sure that when you're printing it, don't be the fool like I was. And if you have one of these PEI sheets here, make sure you put down a glue stick first because 
This filament has completely welded to this build plate and I have tried pulling it. I've tried freezing it. I've tried heating it. I've tried isopropyl alcohol. Nothing's really helping remove this from the build plate. It's a, it's a lost cause at this point. And that actually brings us to the next filament that I wanted to test out that I haven't actually tried bouncing or even removing from the build plate yet. And that's from Dud V2. Found out about them through TikTok. It's a US based company that's making this filament specifically for these basketballs. Now, regardless of whatever filament you tried to go with, if you want to print with one of these flexible materials, I would 1000% recommend picking up one of these wham bam carbon fiber build plates. It's not gonna leave the carbon fiber imprint on the bottom of your print, but it allows these, it just peels right off once it's cooled. It's like shockingly amazing how easy that removed. Also, you can watch me struggle getting the supports off of the prints here. This is always a challenge. And again, this is the Dud V2. This is their PLA B splat filament. I'm assuming the B is for bounce. So yeah, again, another great, this is, I can't tell, we'll have to do a bounce compare to see which one actually bounces better, but this is also a great option. This bounces a lot better. So again, here's one of the ones that I previously did in TPU. Yeah, that's again, you can see just how much better this one bounces compared to those. Should also mention both of these were printed with the exact same BQ print profile. So these should be identical balls. Just the only difference is the materials that they were printed with. So let's just do a drop test. Very similar. Yeah, very similar. All right, let's try. Uh, I don't know. Oh man. I think this Dud V2 might actually be the better bouncing ball here. They are so similar in bouncing. And for comparison, here's a real basketball versus the BQ PLA HR. Very similar in bouncing. When it comes to actually bouncing though, the real basketball just has a lot more rebound to it. And before I bring these to the street and test them out, I wanted to mention two other awesome YouTube channels that are testing out these airless basketballs that you should 1000% check out. The first being Jantech Engineering that did a deep dive recently on this BQ PLA HR filament and tested out a bunch of different properties on it, as well as 3D printing and testing out the airless basketball. And then the creator Make It Lab has been on an absolute tear, 3D printing and testing so many different filament options for these airless basketballs to find the best possible option out there, including filaments that I haven't even tried. 1000% check out both of these creators that I'll have linked to down below, as well as here in the video. Bamboo Lab is also running their Black Friday sale from now through, I think, December 3rd, where you can get discounts on all their 3D printers, as well as filaments. This isn't sponsored by them. However, if you're interested in one of their 3D printers, I have some affiliate links down below that help out the channel. Uh, I printed this on the Bamboo Lab P1S, and this will even 3D print on the Bamboo Lab A1, which is an awesome entry-level 3D printer for anybody looking to get started with 3D printing. Also from now until the end of December, any tips or donations that I receive from these videos are gonna be going directly to my son's middle school to help offset the cost of any students that can't afford to go on the spring DC trip to Washington DC. I'm hoping these tips and donations will help completely provide or help greatly offset the cost for a number of different students that just can't afford to go on the trip. I'll also be matching any of the donations that I receive. Now, you'll have to let me know what you think about these airless basketballs and if there's any other materials that I should be testing out that might potentially bounce better than these. Again, both of these filaments so far have been the best options that I've found so far for printing these that aren't gonna break and actually bounce when you try to bounce them. Also, I wanna say a big thank you to my Patreon members for your continued support. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings, you can find those linked below. Hey, thanks so much for watching all. I'll see you next time. Bye now. First try, baby.